right, duffers. You duffers, you. You duffers. Hey, everybody, how's it going? It's time now for mandolin for duffers. Oh, yeah. not ma It's mandolin for lovers, too, but it's mandolin for duffers. You know, yesterday was a very solemn day at Fiddle for Duffers. It was lesson number eight of session one. It was gradu graduation day, matriculation day. Many people graduated, went up on the stage, received their session one Fiddle for Duffers diploma. And since this here is lesson number seven, I believe, I believe, is this lesson number seven? Let me check my, check my math. Yeah, this is lesson number seven, session one of Mandolin for Duffers. So next week, don't be late because next week is graduation day. You're going to graduate. And then the following week, we'll begin session number two of Mandolin for Duffers. So don't miss it. You guys will all get to graduate. All right, so here we go. Let's see here now. Now, let, now let's see here. You know, let's 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 back up a little bit. Let's back up. Whoa, way back. Let's do a little right hand work here. Let's see if I can get this thing going. So that's uh, let's hit it at about sixty beats per minute. We're gonna do our, do a little tremolo practice. You want to do that? Right hand work. Make sure you're holding the pick properly. Remember that. Remember that. Don't be. No, don't use a thumb pick, too, like the old-timers did on their guitars in Central Missouri. So we're just going to do the open D string. Follow along. Now double it. Now double that. faster. Now let's go faster than that. See that's how you get to where you're going. Okay so practice that. Practice at home. Get yourself a little metronome. You don't have to have one of these nice fancy metronomes. I love these because they're loud. This is a uh, Wittner, Wittner MT50 metronome but because I like it because it's really loud. It's got a big, big red. If you want to do silent mode, it'll do silent mode too. The red light will flash. You see that? Boink, boink. But I need the tap. I need the tap. So, but anyway, you don't need that. There's plenty of metronome apps for your phone. They're free, so just use one of those if you want. Okay, so that's something we got to practice, right? Practice, practice, practice that tremolo because because we want to play those waltzes and the things with the long notes. We got to play a little tremolo, right? Can't wait to get a job after graduation. Yeah, yeah. There's plenty of jobs for man for guys who've had eight weeks of mandolin out there. There's just look in the look in the want ads. Go on Indeed.com and put it, that in as one of your qualifications there. <laughs> All right. There were so many jobs playing the mandolin. I just went ahead and started my own company. So now let's uh, let's play a little bit of. Uh, remember, put your little foot. That's where we were last week, I think. And I also got you started in on the key of D. But let's play the old. Let's play our old friend the G scale here, because put your little foot is the Varsuvian in uh, in uh, G three quarter time, but not a waltz. Remember that. So let's play our G scale from here up to here, alternating our pick. One tap. We played this a lot, so we're just gonna go one tap. Think the notes, say them out loud. E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D, C, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D, C, B, A, G. Okay, so now, remember we were doing two steps forward and one step back. One step back. Have you been practicing that? Okay, let's try that. Here we go. Ready? Play. Down, 
So it's going to be B, T, G, A. See, like that. Sorry. Let me start over. And alternate your pick, remember? Here, ready, play. Now, what you can do, if that's too fast for you, when you're back looking at the video again, reviewing the video, just go into YouTube, you know, and you slow, use a little slow down feature. You go to that little gear, it looks like a setup, setup icon for most software. If you click that, you can change the speed of YouTube without changing the pitch. So you can play it a lot slower than that if you want to, until you get it, all right? So now, so we've done that pattern, we've done the regular scale, we've done two steps forward, one step back, then I'm gonna do, Okay, what that is is one, two, three, then back one, so up three and back one. Okay, so so again, and once you've got, if you can do those two patterns and the regular scale, you're in pretty good shape. You're catching a lot of what's in a lot of fiddle tunes, you know. Okay, so another yes, dog training, another starvation vocation. But nothing starves you like the guitar, though, Mike. You got to admit that, man. That's the starvation box. They don't call it that for nothing. All right, so so let's try that that scale. So I'm giving you a new exercise here, and we're doing all this in G, right? So when we move over to D, you're going to want to translate all that into D, correct? All right, so here we go. We're going to go up three. So we're going to go up three and all the way back to the one we started on, right? Then start on A. A, B, C, A. B, C, D, B. Get what I'm doing here? Okay, so I'm going to play it kind of slow. I, you, I know you may not be able to play along, but in the interest of not spending a lot of time on this, uh, you know, me just spoon feeding it to you, you're going to come back later, and if you need to slow this down, that's what you need to do, right? So here we go, starting on G, so it's going to be, you know, G, A, B, G, B, that's an A, B, C, A. Remember, you always go back to the one you started on. Here we go. So, so we're going to go from this G up to this G here. Okay, and then... So the same thing now, we're going to go down. We're going to go G, F sharp, E, back to the one we started on. G, F sharp, E, D, F sharp. play the whole thing now just we're just doing one octave of this for right now okay so this is really important because uh, these are these you'll if you play these patterns when when you hear that in a tune you're trying to learn or you're just noodling around, you go, oh, your fingers will just do it. You know, again, it's all about the lizard brain, lizard brain, lizard brain, muscle memory, okay? So, okay, one more time now, one more thing. Let's play our G arpeggio. It's G, all the G's, B's, and D's. Arpeggio, remember, is always the fifth, third, the first, third, and fifth degree of the scale. So it's a... So here we go. Here we go. Ready, G. One more 
time. Now, if you're not ready to play it that fast, that's cool. Practice more, practice more, okay? And, and you know, later on, we'll have some patterns we'll use on the arpeggios as well. Because again, it's in these darn fiddle tunes are just loaded with arpeggios. It's all this traditional music, scads of arpeggios. Okay, so let's see, are any good, any interesting comments? No, people are working their tails off. There's nobody commenting at all because they're, they're busting their tails, man. Okay, so here we go. Let's see here. Oh, hey, I gotta, I gotta let go. I gotta let go of all the people who are, who are enjoying it for free. So if you're here, uh, here enjoying it for free, uh, the live stream, stay with me. But if you're watching it in uh, archive on YouTube, this is the end of the lesson. You're gonna miss 20 minutes worth. So go to patreoncom forward slash Charlie Walden and sign up. It's only 92 cents a week or four dollars a month, and. Uh, You'll, you'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy it. So uh, just this is the end of the lesson if you're watching the YouTube archive. If you're up with, with the live lesson, stay with me. It's free. The live stream is absolutely free, okay? All right, so here we go. Let's go back here. So now, remember we were playing Put Your Little Foot. Remember that? We're going to spend about five or six minutes here playing Put Your Little Foot, okay? Remember, it goes like this. play that tune now. I think I showed it to you slow last time if I remember right, but I'm going to go to the old finger view here. The finger view, the finger view. Everybody loves the finger view. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to play it for you right here. It starts right in this open D, remember? Remember that little bit? Okay, here we go.
Okay, now I'm going to, I'm going to post the tab. I'm going to post the tab on at patreon.com forward slash Charlie Walden, and I'll find another place to post it, which I'll, I'll uh, announce on our Facebook page. Fans of Pat and Possum's Big Fiddle Show. There's a lot of info about the duffers on there, but so uh, that's where that will be. It looks like this. Put your little foot Mando tab. So I will post that on, uh, on, on the Facebook page and also at patreon.com forward slash Charlie Walden. All right. We're going to catch fire here now. Thanks a lot. Appreciate your patience there. Uh, you don't want to, you don't want to have the house burned down, do you? All right. So uh, I, I get in big trouble. I tell you if I caught, if the, if the kitchen got all smoky all of a sudden. All right. So we were playing, put your little foot there. So that's, so there you go. You've got a nice slow version now with good view of the fingerboard and you and I'll post up the tab. If you want standard notation, just let me know. Okay. You know, if you want to get hold of me regarding anything to do with duffers, by the way, you can message me on the Facebook page, fans of Pat and Possum's Big Fiddle Show, or, or, or you can email me directly at bigfiddleshow at gmail.com. I will warn you, though, if you message me at this address, I will put you on our mailing list. <laughs> but other than that, you'll be fine. All right, so here we go. All right, so now we're, let's remember we were in D. We were playing in D, okay? So we, well, how many tunes have we got so far? We've got... Coming Around the Mountain, Sugar in the Coffee, Westphalia Waltz. We're going to do more with that as time progresses. And Put Your Little Foot. So we've done four things in D, so in G. So now we are moving to D. So let's quickly play. Let's talk about what's the difference between G and D. You know, in G, the, the, the notes are G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Okay? And that is because we construct a major scale with stepwise, right? So it's a whole step, a whole step, a half, a whole step, a whole step, a whole step, a half. That, that'd make like a square dance call almost. Whole step, a whole step, a whole step, whole step, a whole step, a half, whole step, a whole step, a whole step, a half, half. So anyway, it's two whole steps, a half step, three whole steps, and a half step. And that makes a major scale. It's starting on any note, anywhere. You don't even need to know what the notes are if you're spacing them properly. So, so in G again, it's G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Now D is a little different because we have to maintain that rule of whole step, whole step, half, whole step, whole step, whole step, half. Okay, two whole steps, half, three whole steps, half. So in D, it's D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. It has to be a number right below the D, right? Okay, so, so now you've got D is two sharp. So let's just play the old, the old D scale, shall we? All right, let's try that sucker. It would be... Like him to leave the stove on. <laughs> All right, so D. Let's start. Let's start on D right here. So in, in this in D scale, it's this finger pattern on the a, D and A. This one, remember, and it's this finger pattern on the E string. Right. So here we go. We're gonna play from here all the way up to this B fourth finger on the E string. Two beats. Two taps per note. C sharp. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, come on down, A, G, F sharp, E, D. C, D, C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D. Okay, so. So there's something for you to practice there. And now, without me playing them, next time I will, we'll, we'll go laboriously through the various patterns for G, for for D as well, but you know what you're going to end up doing. You're going to get end, up, end up doing two steps forward, one step back. And then you're going to end up doing this one. The one I just taught you earlier in G today. Well, I've got to come up with a name for that one. Three steps forward. No, that's it. Okay. Anyway, I'll come up with a name. But it's two steps forward, one step back, and then the one where you go three up back to the original and then move up one more so 
Rather than me showing you those right now, you kind of have the idea. You might as well go ahead and start practicing them right now because you know we're going to do them, right? And now the G, the D arpeggio again. It's the first, third, and fifth scale degrees, right? So in D, it's D, E, F sharp, G, A. So it's D, F sharp, and A. So right now, let's play all the Ds, F sharps, and A's from here to here. The F sharp on the E string. Here we go. Sorry. Ready, play. So let's go from here, this A, up to this A, arpeggio style. Here we go. So it's ready, play. stuff today but new finger pattern so we know this finger pattern right and we know this finger pattern now there's this finger pattern oh my golly where does that go well that's the one we'll use in the key of D on the G string okay so if I was to play that pattern here it would sound like this now I'm using my fourth finger for the D but really we're gonna use the open string so it's So everybody, we're going to play that. So it's it's G, F sharp. It's F sharp. G, A, B, C sharp, D, C sharp, B, A, G. So we're going to go up and back a few times. Here we go. But so it's this pattern. So except we're not using the pinky. We're just playing the open D string. So it's, it's G open, then uh. It's G open, then A, B, C sharp. D open back C sharp B A open G okay try it one time okay so two taps my foot on each note ready play going again okay good now this time we're gonna start here full extent of D scale in first position okay so we're gonna go into we're gonna go from G open G to B on the E string now now don't be confused you go well dude how can you start a, a G scale a D scale on a G well it doesn't matter where I start if I stick with two my two sharps it's gonna be a D scale you know it's gonna be it's gonna be the notes in the D scale as long as I have every time I come to a C I play a C sharp and every time I come to an F, I play an F sharp, it's going to be the notes of the D scale. It won't sound like a D scale because you didn't start on D, but trust me, it's there. Okay? You got to trust somebody. Let it be me. Okay? <laughs> All right. So here we go. Oh, hey, we're getting out of time here, folks. But this has been very productive, I think. I'm just going to stick with this program of the D scales for right now, and we'll go on to Spanish two step next time. Did I play it for you last time? I think I did. I might play it through a couple times. Again, just so you can listen to it. If you want to work ahead and try to learn a little bit of it by ear, that's cool with me, okay? All right, so let's just do this thing here, though. We're going to go from here up to here using the notes of D scale. So in other words, every time you come to a C, it has to be a C sharp. Every time you come to an F, 
it has to be an F sharp. Everything else is natural, okay? Drinking a little early. No, I'm not actually. I'm having a, I'm having a uh, black cherry bubble water. So there's nothing in it. Nothing, no other colored, colorless, odorless, colorless liquids in there. Ah. Anyway, here we go. All right. So ready, play. C sharp, D, D, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp. Yeah. Sorry. D, C sharp. G on the D string, F sharp. Sorry. Okay, so. Pat, is there something wrong? I think, are you live still? Yes. Okay. Why? Well, <laughs> am I live still, folks? Somebody say, talk to me. Am I still live? I think I am. I hope to be. Pat was trying to find it. She couldn't tell if I was live. Somebody say something. Speak. Speak. Nobody's speaking. Maybe I'm not live anymore. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So... All right, so kids, kids, I think that's going to about cover us for today. So let me play through that little bit of that Spanish two-step, shall we? All right, here we go. He looks alive. <laughs> All right, here's how it goes. I'm going to give you a finger view on this. You thought I said, you thought I was, I was going to say, I'm going to give you the finger, but I'm not. I'm giving you the finger view. Here we go. So it starts right here on this F sharp. kids I'm gonna clear on out of here you know because I got I gotta go gotta go check on my lunch so we'll see y'all tonight at Bow to your partner the camp possum Wednesday night session hope partner. you can make it it's eight o'clock central time and and that's all for today folks that's all that's all for the other way back to the same old track we're clear and stop and swing when you get home